Hello. In this screencast, we're going to do something pretty interesting and unique. I have here a method call eval, which is actually a method call on the Nashorn script engine. You can see here in line 36 and 37, I've set up Nashorn, which means that under the hood, at some point, I'm making use of some JavaScript. So basically, this piece of Java code is loading up a JavaScript file. So here you can see this JavaScript file. And you can see also that the um, Nashorn engine here includes the scripting call. So we've, we are indicating here that we want to make use of the scripting functionality of the Nashorn engine. And that will enable calls such as exec and out to work and this entire piece of JavaScript to function correctly. What it does is it kicks off a Yeoman command on the command line, and it processes it, and then displays in a JavaFX dialog the result from that Yeoman command. That's basically what happens here. But what's interesting for what I want to show here is that when we debug this code, so when I set a breakpoint, on the line with the eval call on the Nashorn engine, look what happens. So we start by debugging. So the a new instance of NetBeans starts up because the code here applies to a NetBeans module. So we're now loading a new NetBeans module that's in development into a new instance of NetBeans IDE, which first needs to start up. Once that's happened, we will invoke an action, which will mean that this code here is called, or this action code that you see here. So when I choose tools and yeoman here, um, what happens is that this code is called, and this breakpoint is hit. And the point of this little screencast that I'm doing right now is to show you that we can, when we step into the eval method, um, we end up in the script engine um, internal code within the JDK. However, if we step into it again, look where we are. We are now in the JavaScript code. And you can see this when we look in the window debugging and sessions. We're now in a the JavaScript debugger. So we switched from the Java debugger to the JavaScript debugger, and we can now step through the JavaScript code. So this is a really nice combination of using the Java debugger in NetBeans as well as the JavaScript debugger in NetBeans in the same scenario. Now we can hover over these items and we can see information about the current item, which will become more interesting when we have some actual variables that we're making use of. So here, um, for example, right now this out is undefined. And we step into it again. And now you can see here um, the output, which in the variables window becomes more interesting. So let's scroll down to the bottom here. And here's the output that has um, been returned from Yeoman. So here's the Yeoman output. And then the next step is parsed. So we can step into that. So this is really nice that you can use the Java debugging facilities as well as the JavaScript debugging facilities within the same scenario. And you could see that the switch from the one language to the other language was completely seamless. That's it. So if you're using Nashorn together with Java, you can actually debug both sides, the Java side and the JavaScript side within the same process.